Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. As you can see behind me, we just did a big old upgrade to our castle from level 3 to level 4, and it's looking a lot better. Now, I was thinking, why stop there when we could keep going with our upgrades and, yeah, start knocking out a bunch of stuff. So, the upgrades to the industrial area went so well that I, I kind of want to do it for everything else. I mean, there's a lot of buildings here and, I don't know, I don't want to just do an, an episode for a couple buildings and, and upgrade it from 3 to 4 and, you know, there's not too many changes. So, I'm thinking what, I, oh man, the livestock. Holy cow and sheep. I seriously, I, I know I keep saying I'm going to put a pressure plate to stop this, but for sure this time. Close the gate. Come on, close the gate. Oh, oh man, look at that. Okay, yeah, I need, I need to deal with this. <laughs> well, anyway, there's a lot that needs to be done to the colony, and I, I just want to everything let's let's just let's just get in here and do one massive day where we upgrade all the rest of the buildings up to level four as well as these two buildings I now officially have these two buildings unlocked I've done the research and I'm ready for it and I want to get these two well ready to go and 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 open and all the way up to level four. Oh, what's that is that smoke Uh, looks like some smoke? Nether rack? Is that a portal? Hmm. What's going on in here? Ooh. That's strange. I thought we broke this. Is this a new one? Yeah, we covered all this and... It's back? That's super strange. Um, let's break this portal. I, I, I don't need a portal over here. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here, but uh, I'm just gonna break that for now. Just hopefully nothing bad happens because of that. But yeah, I'm gonna leave that alone. Let's put out some of these fires so we don't have to deal with the, a forest fire or anything like that. Anyway, let's get this nether miner going too today. Uh, just so we can, maybe he could find out what's going on with that portal situation, why that thing relit over there. But, uh, yeah, we've got Nether Miner and Alchemist that we're going to build all the way up to level 4 as well. And in a previous episode, we got all of our houses up to level 4, so that those are going to stay put as is. But we could also decorate this area as we're flying through, doing our time lapse. I'm going to put in some more street lamps and get rid of a lot of torches. And, yeah, there's just overall a lot of stuff that needs to be done around here. So, um, yeah, without further ado, let's let's get to the time lapse.
Okay, while the colony is busy building, we are going to work on a little project here in the base. So I've got plans for our little storage room here and, well, I mean, I spend a lot of time in the storage room and I've got a little spot underneath the storage room that I, yeah, I want to, I want to make a mob farm. So since we spend so much time in the storage room, I'm thinking putting the mob farm right underneath the storage room is probably going to be the best thing because, I, of course, mob farms require players to be nearby for them to operate. I, yeah, this, this is a good spot. Now I know it's pretty late in the season to be doing a mob farm and, of, of course, I don't need a lot of the resources that they're going to make. The, the biggest thing I really need is going to be spider eyes. Now the spider eyes, last time I checked, they are they can only be made by, well, hitting the spiders yourself. You can't just grind them and have like an auto kill. You have to actually hit them yourselves to get the spider eyes. So I've got a bit of a plan to use deployers and conveyor belts and all kinds of good stuff with create to automate this process a little more. I think I'll just have to show you guys what's going on here. So. Um, I'm thinking this is about center for the base. Yeah, we're just gonna go right down here. Oh, there's already a cave. Oh, we got a little cave here. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of get a little footprint right here and get a little set up, and then uh, yeah, we'll we'll get to building. Alrighty. So what we're doing here is we've got this big wall of drills here. Um. Yeah, this first layer here is going to be four levels high. I'm going to connect up these drills to power and then they're going to spin around and they're going to cut out. Let's see, that's 10. So 10, 21. So it's going to be a 21 um, block circle all the way around. And that's going to basically be my mob farm. And then I'm going to go down, cut out another layer, go down, cut out another layer and just keep going down and down and down until I'm satisfied and uh, yeah that'll be our mob farm so the next layer here go down a couple pieces here so we'll skip a block and then these two will be our next layer so I'm gonna fill this up with drills right here something like that okay and rinse and repeat let's go down another couple more layers and yeah get the next set of drills set up Okay, I think we got our drills in place. Got quite a few of them layered up, looking good. Um, I just went, yeah, this far down. I, I didn't really count it out or anything. I just, ooh, that one's a little too far. But yeah, I didn't really count it out. I just kind of started drilling. And uh, yeah, this is the drop area. So, ooh, you know, I got to be careful. If I drop them too far, they're just going to die on impact, especially if they're coming from the top. Yeah, I may have to do a little bit of math here. I know it's dangerous, but um, and then down here, what we're going to do is we're going to do some conveyor belts here, and those are basically going to be pushing all the mobs into our killing area, which is going to be here, and this is going to be full of uh, deployers that are just going to be punching and swinging swords and collecting all the drops. So I'm thinking let's get all this glued up and get it moving so we can drill out our circles. Okay, got everything glued up. Getting a little tight in here, but thinking I could just put that there. Uh, let's just do that. And hopefully this is going the correct way. Yes, it is. Okay, I've got the speed on actually pretty slow, and this thing's got some power behind it. Holy cow. What's it set at? I think it's set at like 16. This is going to be dug out in no time. Okay, I think we got it. Jeez, look at all the junk that just falls down. Holy cow. Well, at least it's working. <laughs> so imagine all that is going to be mobs dropping down. Nice. Um, I probably shouldn't have dug this out until I got the killing chamber done. Because now we're probably going to have to deal with some mobs. Oh well. Oh man, disaster has struck. 
I left my toolbox right here when I started the drills and yeah popped up the toolbox and it just rotted on the ground oh man it was only one toolbox but it had all of my like drills and and like my utility stuff my mixers and yeah all that good stuff oh man that's that's uh that's a painful loss I had that thing pretty full too oh no it even had all my deployers in it oh that's a super expensive mistake oh I'm so upset oh man hey check it out it is all done man it has been some time since my last cut and yeah I've been just super sick recently I, I don't know it's been like I've been sick for like three weeks it's been pretty crazy and it's been like over a week since I started this episode and I haven't been able to record much so I've been playing off camera quite a bit and yeah I just got this thing done and I'm sure you guys didn't want to hear me coughing and hacking up a, a lung and whatnot <laughs> but anyway let me show you what I did okay coming down here I've got the pinwheels going around they are looking good now I've got some notches cut out there because we're gonna we're gonna do a little something with that here pretty soon so that has a reason but I've got all these rooms done all that's looking good and yeah it's working got the kill chamber down here uh, occasionally the uh, the creepers actually do blow up so that's why I have all this water right here um, probably could have done a better design. I should have set one of those deployers back a little bit, but it works. Especially when a, a creeper blows up, it, it really clears it up. And then everything just poops out the back and gets sent to my, to my storage area. Oh, one thing to mention is up here I've got, this is the stained glass so light shouldn't pass through. I still have a bit of a lighting glitch though. You can see there's some light spots there. And that still has like a light level of one so that's kind of annoying I think it's because I use that um, effortless build mod and it doesn't really update the lighting once you use the effortless build mod so I don't know it's a little glitchy there but I think it'll work and not only that the items flow up here to this water column and comes up here gets dropped off on this main belt and gets sent with all the other stuff that goes to our main bulk storage. And down here I just made some room for the, the rotten flesh, the spider eyes, the string, gunpowder, bones, arrows, you know, that sort of stuff. That should be the basic stuff. I mean, I could I could get storage for all the whip, witch drops too, but I, I'm, I'm not going to I'm not going to be bothered with that. Okay, I'm happy that is pretty much done and working, so I don't have to go down there anymore. Um, now, what I want to do is, see, I'm getting a mixture of mobs down there, and I want to populate this a little more with spiders. Not only spiders, but as well as blazes. So, I'm thinking we can probably move the spawners with the create mod, going into the uh, create mods options. So if we go into the create mods options, there should be an option to allow us to move spawners. Okay, right here it says movable spawners. So we can switch that to movable. So that means we can pick them up with a minecart contraption. And well, put them in the overworld or put them wherever we want. Okay, let's start with the hard one first and that's gonna be the blaze. Um, so I know, get out of here, dude. I know this one's got two spawners. Oh man, this is gonna be hard. I should have brought a potion. Oh jeez, oh jeez. I am not as fireproof as I thought I was. But we are in trouble here. Okay, okay. I forgot we have golden apples, so it's out a little bit. We need to go one two three uh four five and six put you there put you there and you and you ah that and that and oh come on oh i forgot the glue 
forgot the glue, darn it. Okay, glue this up. Wait, I gotta glue that. There we go, and cross. Oh, come on. There we go. Really? And these guys hit pretty hard, too. And pick it up. Did I pick it up? I can't tell. I think I picked it up. And pick that up. Yes! Okay, we got a spawner. Alright, we need to repeat that a dozen times. Okay. One. Come on, guy. Do that up. There we go. Ah, need to get rid of these guys. I don't want to drop the cart on a on a fire. Okay, got another one. Perfect. Let's get out of here. It's too much. Ah, now we got a ghast. Oh, come on. Well, we found another fortress. Just gonna grab the spawner really quick if I can. Man, it gets overwhelmed so quick because this one's out in the middle of the lava lake. Okie dokie, coming back home. Alright, we are going to place these contraptions down. So, I'm going to put you there. Put you there and pop this down. There we go. Oh, perfect. They're already spawning. And then we can just pick all this trash up. Okay, that's it. Oh, look at that one. That one's going way down. Okay, let's see how it works. Okay, he gets sent in. Is he going to get killed? Looks like he's taking damage. I'm hoping the water's going to help hurt him as well. I want to see that blaze rod come out the back. No, no blaze rod. Hmm. Here comes the next one. Huh, no blaze rod. Why are these guys not dropping blaze rods? That might be a problem. So, they might be dying because of the water instead of the actual deployers. And since they're dying from the environment, they're not dropping. That's super upsetting. Okay, well, we might as well get the rest of them in. Um, let's put you there. Put you there. Oh, that was on the wrong side. Okay, let's do that again. There we go. Okay, that one's good. Okay, and the last one is in. Okay, so we got three spawners ready to go, so we just need to find out a better way to kill these blazes, so that way we can actually get their drops. Okay, I think I got something a little better here, so I took out a lot of the water, but I still waterlogged the belt, so hopefully that stops the creepers from blowing the whole place up. In my testing, this wasn't the best way to do it. But it seems to be working here. And occasionally I, I'll get a blaze rod. It's not 100% because sometimes they I think they're still dying from the water. So... Yeah, even if I get like 50% blaze rods, you know, 50% of the time. There we go, there goes one. Okay, so it is working. Um... Is there another one? No. There's one, okay. It is working. It's working slowly, but it is working. And in case you're wondering why I'm not using crushing wheels to kill the mob, well, this is why. Blazes do not drop their blaze rods through the crushing wheels at all. And therefore we have to use a deployer. As you can see here, deployer with the sword. Yep, we are getting blaze rods. And the same thing goes for spiders as well. We cannot get the spider eyes just by crushing them. You can get string just fine, but it's the spider eyes that we want. Okay, so now since we got our blazes situated, I want to find some spiders. So I know of this little spider spawner right over here. And yeah, we're going to try to capture some spiders without getting poisoned too bad. Let's just light this area up. It shouldn't be too awful bad with a jetpack. And kind of flying over these this uh, lava lake here. Okay, let's clear this up a little bit. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Pick it up. There we go. Okay, time to find some more. 
And that's another one. Perfect. And we got the last one right here. Okay. Okay. Back at base. Let's get this in place. So we're going to put one right here, here, and here. Okay. I'll just go ahead and throw these out really quick. Oh. Still got glue from the last ones right there. Get rid of all that. Okay. One. Oh no, that's not in the right spot, is it? Oh no, 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 no. Okay, hold on. Let me pick that up again. There we go. One, two, and three. Okay. Spider spawners are in place. Those should just get swept into the pit. And we should be all good. There we go. Those are dropping down. Let's take a look. Okay, first spider's there. Hmm, no spider eye. You know, I forgot to check. Do cave spiders actually give out spider eyes? If not, that's going to be a problem. Okay, I just saw a spider eye. Okay, good, good, good. That makes me happy. Yeah, I was, I was getting a little concerned there. It seems to be a very, very rare chance, so I might need to upgrade all these deployers with some with some looting swords. And, oh yeah, there we go. There goes another spider eye. And another one. Okay, yeah, I think it just needs to warm up a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I may have to upgrade these things with some looting swords just to help out with the drops a little bit. Because we're going to need a lot of spider eyes and a lot of blaze rods. And I can just go ahead and clean up this mess. Well, looks like our base is going to sound like spiders and blazes from here on out, but it's okay. It's a little loud, but it's okay. Man, look at all of them. This is working out very, very well. And I like to I like to be able to see things. Ooh, shoot, there's a fire down there that I got to put out. That's going to mess with our rates a little bit, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But yeah, it's working out pretty good. I'm liking it. Alrighty, well coming out to the colony here, our builders are finally done with all the upgrades. Now, last episode I mentioned about the plate armor, and I didn't realize that the there was another research to give us the plate armor, and that is going to be right here in level 5. I, yeah, I didn't realize that the research was in level 5, and I must have just completely missed it. So, here it is. Um, yeah, I want to get that soon once we get this up to level 5. And, uh, yeah, we're pretty much maxed out on our research. So, we're going to be pushing to level 5 here pretty soon. Um, another thing is I finally got enough of the mistletoe. And that was from the alchemist. The alchemist actually mines the mistletoe, so... I've got that research going, so it allows druids to request magic potions, and yeah, that's going to give our alchemist something to do now. So, more about the alchemist la later. I want to kind of walk through the colony and take a look at all these upgrades. Now, I'm not going to go through every room of, of every building or anything like that, but we're just going to kind of fly around and take a look at the exteriors and stuff, but... Yeah, our castle got some upgrades here, Got the wall actually got a little taller, and I think we are, we got some more towers or something. It definitely looks a lot beefier now, so looking pretty good there. Restaurant's looking good, and also it's got like this like balcony seating area, and as well as an upper story here. Like a little seating up here. Oh look, someone's using it. That's nice. But yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking how this thing is looking. Our bakery finally got rid of those thatched roofs, so I'm liking not seeing that thatched roof. Everything's in the shingles now, so that's that looks really good. Over here, we've got our barracks looking a little better, looking a little beefier, and finally we got our fourth tower. So, I didn't realize that the fourth tower was going to be in the middle like this. I was thinking it was going to be over here in the corner, so I was like looking forever trying to find it, but yeah, hut block is right there in the middle, so it's like 
three towers in a row. It's it's kind of goofy like that, but yeah, it, it works out. It's it looks good. It's it's beefy. It, yeah. Coming over here, we've got our cemetery. Catacombs got a little upgrade down here, but other than that, there's not much to the cemetery. Oh, the school. Okay, the school was ridiculous. I was able to get all of these buildings here built up upgraded as well as all of our livestock buildings before the school finally upgraded a builder was just working on it that long i don't know why there's like certain buildings in this build pack that take a ridiculous amount of time for some reason it's the school the university and and the town hall but yeah i'm glad we finally got this one done and upgraded up to level four i really like that tire swing for some reason it, it looks really nice <laughs> Coming over here, composter hut, got a little beefier. I, I like the wagon. Wagon got a little bigger too. I mean, there's not much to the compost hut, but you know. And same thing goes for the forester. I mean, I really like the building, but uh, there wasn't too much to do it. This was probably one of the faster buildings to upgrade. And the sheep herder hut got a little beefier as well. I finally managed to get in here and put pressure plates. Pressure plates have helped out quite a bit to help keep those stupid gates shut because the colonists are not very good at shutting the gates. I mean, look, there's still a few sheep that got out, but it's a lot better than what it was before. Yeah, same thing for the cow hand as well as the swine herder too. Hospital's looking pretty good and getting pretty well flushed out coming in here it looks I really like the flooring I don't know why oh the chicken herder okay so our chicken herder lady was stuck in here for a long time so there's like these little holes here that the chicken herder lady just falls in and she gets stuck there and she's, she'll stay there forever so what I did is I actually dug out one of these holes so that way she can actually get out so she can just come over here and get out and get back to her hut block. I mean, it lets the chickens out, but they're, they're not going anywhere because there's another wall to keep them in. That kind of worked out for us there. Swine herder hut is looking good. I also, yeah, I also put pressure plates. I just kind of doubled up the pressure plates. This one's got like a double gate sort of a situation. And I think that works a lot better at keeping the animals in the pen. That's a lot of pigs. Oh, the rabbit hutch. I still need to get rabbits for this thing, but I mean, we upgraded it anyway, but yeah, I really need to get rabbits because there are some researches that require rabbit's foot to allow the colonists to run faster. And I haven't been able to do those because I've just never gotten any rabbit's foot. Okay, the plantation. So I'm sure you guys noticed there was a bunch of buildings that popped up around the plantation. With the medieval spruce build pack, there's not actually fields for the plantation. So I had to go into the default mine colonies pack and get these buildings from that. What we got here is I built this one. I forgot what this one does. It does something with the crimson and nether wart stuff I, I don't know i i forgot what this one does same thing with this one this one's a different thing um that gives us just some nether stuff this one over here was supposed to give me glowberries but for some reason i can't get the three of those to work properly this one over here this one does vines and cocoa I'm able to get the vines to work. I was able to assign the plantation worker over to this field and get the vines growing, but for some reason he won't do cocoa. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on there, but one out of the four fields is actually working. Moving on over here, we've got the farm and the windmill looking good. So I made some modifications to the windmill, made it look a little nicer and, and more feasible for, I guess, spinning. So yeah, it looks a little better that way. Oh, uh, we got the florist hut over here. For some reason, I really like the look of this building. I don't know if it's the purple roof or the greenhouse, but yeah, this is just a really nice building. Coming over here, we've got our circus tent. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a circus tent, and it got, it got a little bigger. There's not much else to it. The worker here got some better living conditions, too. So, yeah. 
All right, now these two big ones here. So we were able to bring both of these buildings here. This was the Nether Miner and the Alchemist. We were able to bring them from zero all the way up to level four. So with the Nether Miner, they actually they're actually going to come up here and open up the portal and go into the Nether. I mean, they're not physically in the Nether or anything. You can't follow them and see them in the, in the Nether. But uh, yeah, he's supposed to come over here and open it up. I haven't seen him do it. I know he's doing it because he's bringing back blocks from the nether. Um, you can see on his expedition log, it says the, I guess those are the mobs that he's killed in the nether. And then these are the blocks that he's brought back. And of course, this guy's going to need swords and, and armor and food and, and uh, some supplies like torches and cobblestone and yeah, stuff like that. So yeah, it says expedition complete. So that's his log. Yeah, it's real interesting. I've been just trying to wait here to watch him and see see him go in there, but I haven't I haven't caught him yet. But his building is is pretty nice. I mean, kind of amazed to get through his building, but yeah, it's got all kinds of stuff going on in here. Oh, he's got extra armor. That's pretty cool. Yeah, look at all this stuff. Stupid Wither Skull was not easy to get. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Alchemist Hut. The Alchem... Well, Alchemist Tower. This thing was... Uh, yeah, this thing took a long time as well. It was, it was almost as bad as the school. But, um... The Alchemist here, she's actually... She goes around with these shears and she kind of mines these bushes here and collects mistletoe. So I was able to get 64 mistletoe from her to start doing that research. So once that research is done, I'm going to have her start making potions for our druids. And now since we got the nether miner, hopefully he can get blaze rods so we can get some of those strength potions or whatever. And, and uh, oh, I think she's supposed to also grow nether wart. Or is that going to be the farm? I don't know. We'll have to see about that. If not, I've got my own nether wart supply that I could just inject into the colony. That shouldn't be a problem. Um, over here, over at the bees. I was able to find some more bees and get her restocked because for some reason, bees, they, they just fly away and disappear. I don't know why. They always just disappear. So having bees outside is not the best thing, but she's got enough flowers to keep breeding them. So if a few of them fly away, it's not a big deal. She'll just keep breeding up some new ones. But yeah, it's looking good. It's, it's, uh, oh, and she could finally collect both honeycomb and honey at the same time. So that's been super helpful. Then again, it's not like I've used the honey or the honeycomb for anything. So, meh, whatever. Now over here at our miner, we've got her up to level 4 as well, but she's been standing around for ages. And that's because her quarry is done. Look how deep this thing goes. That, I believe that is right above deep slate layer. So, yeah, that's pretty deep. Yeah, since that was done, she was just kind of sitting here, so I reassigned her to her miner's hut so that way she can just start mining at her hut for regular ores and whatnot and i mean this thing's gone pretty far down too so she's going into deep slate now you can see she's just kind of broken into yeah both of the quarry and her mine is broken into our underground mining area so it just kind of pokes into this area here a little bit other than that, I think we've done a pretty good job at lighting this place up and eliminating torches. Aside from the torches that the buildings have, of course. But yeah, got our lanterns in place, our street lights are in place. Everything's looking good and I really like how this place looks at night. Now the only place that we do have torches is just this area right here, which I still have something to do here. I'm leaning towards a fountain, but still not 100% sure, but that'll be for a job for another episode. But yeah, I, I, I still think I may have overdone the grass, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Now, I also noticed that these villagers spawn in a couple golems. So that's actually the main reason why I've been getting villagers in here is so that way they could start spawning golems. Yeah, there we go. There's one. 
This guy, he's real. If I was to punch him, he he's going to wreck me. So I haven't spawned any golems myself. And yeah, I'm, I'm liking how the villagers are bringing them in. So I, I don't know. I might remove some light sources so that way they can start spawning some more golems. I, I don't know. We'll see. But uh, I, could, I guess I could probably just get the golems myself. Of course, the more golems we get, the, the more we could defend this place. So that's always good. Yeah, this guy was just brought in. Oh, rock bottom. Have a miner mine to bedrock. Hmm. Who mined to bedrock? We just checked that one. You must have done it. This miner over here. Look at this thing. This guy's been mining. Oh, yeah, look at that. Holy cow. You've been working. Is that really bedrock? I don't see any bedrock. Well, you're still mining. You're actively mining right now. I guess you're right above bedrock. I guess that's that's probably your last layer. So, yeah, I guess it's this one that got the achievement. Alrighty. Well, I think that's just about going to do it for me today. I mean, well... Like I said, this episode took a very, very long time for me to do, just from all the sicknesses that I've been having. So, um, glad to finally get this done. Uh, the time lapses, the time lapse took quite a few days just by itself. I mean, yeah, all these buildings are taking longer and longer to get done, even though our builders are at a higher level and able to build faster. It, yeah, it still takes a while. But anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode. If you have been enjoying this series, please leave a like and subscribe. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.